Yo guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another video and in today's video I will be showing you how to add a police job to your 5M server and how to add a police vehicle to your garage. Now first off, before we start, I want to thank Mr. Chirassi, so if I do pronounce that right, for recommending this to me. He said he needed help with adding vehicles to your police garage and I thought why not um, teach you guys how to add your ESX underscore police job. This stuff is all really easy and I will try to explain it in the easiest way. Now remember if you have any questions or you want to see something uh, to if you want to see anything to be added or like how to do something related to 5M I'm happy to do it. I, I've got, I'm not the best but I have a brief knowledge on how to do most things. Hopefully I will I can help you guys out the best I can. So before we start you want to make sure you have your database open uh, that can be accessed by going into your zap hosting I don't want to um, show you because I don't want to leak any import information that's personal to me but so you go to your zap hosting server go down scroll down to database and it should be there if you've set up your server correctly so I will leave a link in the description for the download for it or you can just search up ESX underscore police job and it will be the first thing that pops up. So first thing what you want to do is download zip. Alright, that's downloaded. And then you just want to open this up. Okay, so first we want to rename it to just ESX underscore police job without the master. And there you go. Most of it's already sorted out for you. You don't need to do anything much. But um, usually it will usually a, it will sometimes be in a different language and that can be easily changed by going into the config and as you can see here you can it's gotten all of these um, different languages sorted and say I wanted Spanish I just do it says ES here which is Span meaning for Spanish oh wrong one Oops. you can just go to here config.local and change it to ES. Obviously I'm English so I would change it to EN which is right there. And then that's done for that so now if you have got yourself an English version so I can just close that down yes. Now that's all sorted out you I would recommend you do this because um, FX manifest.lua is an old version of calling something a resource so to be up more up to date, you just want to call it underscore sure, resource dot lua. Now you don't need to put anything into the resource dot lua. It's already sorted out for you. As you can see here, it will yeah, it's already got all the resources sorted out. Now, um, you will have to have certain requirements because it's not going to work if you don't. You can see them down here. It's all of these. If you have um set up your server and you have downloaded the uh, you've downloaded the I think it's a zap hosting thing where you can just download all these necessary things so it will show it will give you everything at the start of all of the ESXs like the necessary ones and yeah it, it's just a simple download and it will download automatically download these so yeah that's uh, it will download a police job and it will sort out the SQL but this is for the sake of if you haven't done it. So, these are all the requirements, just so you know. you If you go to the web link, you should be able to see them. Make sure you all have them downloaded. Okay, so, oops. So, what you want to do now is you just want to X out of that, go to your Win SCP, and I'm just going to put it in a random folder. Just drag that in there. And yeah, hopefully that will download soon. But guys, um, if you did come to enjoy this video, make sure you smash the like button, turn on post notifications, uh, because you'll be notified every single time I make a video. Now you don't have to do this, but I would really appreciate it because, I, although I don't want fame, it would obviously be nice to. I just want to be able to spread it to a wider audience because I'd rather have ten people know, like how to do something than one, obviously. So, 
you now want to before you start it make sure it's not started yet you want to go into the ESX underscore police job dot SQL and you just want to okay so this is in French So this is all in French. So if you are French, then that's uh, that's fine. Then you can choose that. But for the sake, the sake of people who are from it, like if you speak a different language, you can just translate it. So I'm just gonna go French to English. Copy and paste that all in, and then you can just copy that. Make sure you get every single part in. Oh well. And then just paste and yeah. It's all gonna be there. Okay, so usually, um so this is means it's quite an old thing. Uh it used to have to have it used to have this, like it used to have to have this, but um if you do copy and paste this, I will show you now. If you do copy and paste the uh, use Yes, I'm got extended. It will it will show an error because it won't it will, it's an old thing and it's been updated. So yeah, so to do this, you now want to go to new, then click SQL and just copy and paste all of that in. There you go. And go and as you can see, it will say an error. You just, you, yeah, you just access denied. Okay, so all you have to do then is just delete that problem solved okay so this isn't this won't pop up for you but because I've already gone SQL please SQL in uh, it's gonna it's gonna show now basically it's because I've already done I've already had a day of police job to my server so this won't show up for you this will only show for me because I have already added this so yeah if you have any problems let me know because with the SQL like if it says anything like because if it says du duplicate entry, it means you've already done it before, so you can just leave it there. Okay, so now once you've got the SQL sorted, uh, yeah, now you just want to go to your config, and then it's server config, by the way, and you just want to scroll down to wherever you want to add it. I'm just going to add it uh, there. This part. Okay, so I've already added it into the. My Excel config file will do it and do this. Start with a section score please. There we go. You wanna save that. Make sure the file's been saved, it will show a notification up there. There you go. And then just wanna save it just to be sure. And now you've got your police job all sorted. I won't go to show you yet, I'll show you after because I'm gonna show you how to add vehicles. So uh, I recently helped somebody out with um, doing adding a police vehicle to their 5M so so I'm just going to use this uh, Chen scenario. I'm not. It's not going to be my actual server. I'm not going to use a Chen scenario because I think they're a bit OP, but that's fine. So to add vehicles to your to your uh, police garage, what you have to do is go to your ESX file. So the poli ESX underscore police job. Go to the config dot lua. loading scroll all the way down to here config dot authorized vehicles and this will allow you to change what vehicles the recruits have what vehicles the officers sergeants lieutenants bosses have so um let me quickly go to my police job if you want to change the names so say you want it instead of recruit you want to have it as uh, trainee, something like that. Uh, you just want to let me find my police job. Um, where is it? Job grades. Okay, so you want to go into job grades, I believe. Yep, and here it is. Oh, okay, so it's already sorted, but you want to show all to get all of them. But you do not want to change the name. That if you do, that will mess up the whole config. You'll have to go into every single one and config it. This won't. This won't be displayed. Whatever you see here. This is just the thing. 
this is what will be displayed and you can change this uh, obviously you can see I've changed a lot of it for this stuff but yeah so this won't be displayed but these will so you don't have to worry about these you just have to worry about changing the names for these because I don't think recruit is a very good or very realistic name for police officers but you can do whatever you want with the names so now coming on with the vehicles um, to change it you just want to see I'm going to give an officer the chance of night obviously that's not realistic whatsoever but all I have to do is just copy and paste that file back in then go to, then just delete that because that will be the spawn code that you use and then I just want to find the spawn code for the Centenario. So I'll just go to the Centenario in the car section. Uh, there you go. The Centenario, handling.meta, and then it will be here LP770 COP. You want to make sure it is the actual spawn code and the car actually works, or else the menu will bug out. So there we go, and that's how you do it. I will go into my server and I'll restart my server, go into the server and show you that the police job works and that you can and that this vehicle does work. I'll see you guys in a minute. Oh yeah guys, I'm so sorry I forgot to tell you you have to have a comma on so before the ending uh, before the last vehicle of the like um job of the job category, you must have a comma so before the penultimate one. So the so it's kind of hard to explain, but as you can see here, say I had, I don't know, um, I'm not going to write all this whole like thing, but say I have had a uh, Dodge Charger, I would have to have a comma on at the end of each, at the end of each one, apart from the final one, because there's a comma here, so um, make sure you have a comma here, or it will, will not work, just so you guys know. Alright, so I will hop back in my server and show you guys that it does work. Okay guys, so I'm now in game and as you can see here, uh, right in front of me, you can see this um, vehicle sign. Call me the police tonight. Walk up to it, then go to the vehicle shop. It's police cruiser and not. Sometimes it will be labelled as not. I will, um, I'm unsure at the moment how to uh, change the name, but in a once I've gotten enough information about it, I will um, make a tutorial on how to change the name. But um, sometimes it will be labelled as not, and sometimes it will be its actual name. So it's not going to always be not. But yeah, so all you have to do now is purchase it, and then once that's done, you want to go to Open Man Garage, and then there you go. We have now got a more vehicle that's least carriage sorted and I will show you the rest of the ESX and sorters. Now guys, um, I'm sure you have seen this in some servers. It's called slash it's called EUP. It's basically a bunch of clothes that you can use for the police department. If you would like to see a video on how to install um E slash EUP menu to your file server. Oh come on! Not this shit again! Oh, that for you guys. But just one note, you need to have a key. You can buy those from the file and Patreon site. And it's about I think it's fifteen or twenty-five dollars uh, to do so. Now I've made my own custom armory so it's gonna look it's not gonna show this guy uh, with the it's not going to show this guy here, but it will show this blue arrow sign here. And yeah, you can obviously. I'm I'm not gonna for my mine at least. I'm not going to buy a. Um, I will not be. Actually, you guys can see, you'll you'll see that's all owned because I've added all of the things into my inventory. But it will allow you to buy it. But um, as you can see, uh. You have the AP pistol, advanced rifle, nightstick, taser, flashlight. If you want to change what you have inside the, in like inside the armory for whatever rank you want, you just have to scroll up a bit to here, and you should see it all here. Now you can add or 
take away things so and to find the name of these you just want to go to your database uh, if I can find it uh, and then you want to go to weapons it should be somewhere uh, sorry my database is a bit messy See if it's on the next page. Okay, it's on the next page. No. Okay, there we go. So, um, if you want to add a certain gun to your police armory, all you have to do is find copy this name here and paste it into so you can just uh, copy this and then make sure you add a comma to it at the end and then change the name to uh, co copy and paste it and then change the name to whatever you want to add it so say I want to add a weapon underscore firework I would change it to we un weapon underscore firework make sure it's the exact same as it is or it won't work but yeah if you guys do want to um, if you guys do want to see this um, armor here, I will um, happily uh, send it to you guys. It's kind of awkward because of this armor here, but basically uh, it's pretty. Okay, there we go. What you saw is you can the dig pistol. This guy will go and grab it for you, and yeah, he will hand it over to you. I think this is a really cool animation, and yeah, I obviously um, as you can see this analyzed DNA here. It's also a custom thing, so. Um, yeah, it's not all gonna be there, but yeah, I'll show you um, through here. This is where you're usually going to put on your police outfit. It will show as a pet if you don't have the EEP sorted out. Like, it will show as a random, like normal police character, but you can change that. I, I'm unsure, but it might be. But yeah, um, if you guys wanna know how to install EUP to your 5M server then make sure you guys do let me know in the comment section on my discord I will leave a link in the description and yeah make sure you guys do check out my 5M server I'd really appreciate it if you just want to take a look I'd, I'd really appreciate it because it's it's small but it's growing and I hope it becomes a big server where I can hopefully make a series on a let's play series on my 5M server so you guys can take a look at it and yeah no help. If you guys did come to enjoy this video, make sure you smash the like button, subscribe, turn on post wow. notifications, and yeah, I'll see you in the next Whatever. video.